Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to create up and down bars like this as we have created. So we are going to start with the blank page. So this is my sample data. And let's create. First we have to add a combo chart like this one. Let's enter into focus mode. Now we have to add months in shared access, then sales in our line values, target again in line values. So as you can see, the order of the months are not correct. So what we have to do is to short by is to do short by column. First we have to click on month and we have to use this option short by and click index. So it is going to short the month as per the index field. So now we have to select ascending and now see it is still showing that it's not in the correct order. So we have to go short by and then we have to select month. So now we have the correct order or the sequence of month. Now in order to add bars we have to perform a DAX calculation, a very simple DAX calculation that is only going to show us the up and down bars. For that purpose we are going to add DAX measures. We will, we will be calling it I then simple if function and then uh, a sum function sales minus sum target and simply first of all we are going to create high so at times uh, there might, might be a situation that the R sales figure is lower than the target so in order to remove that situation we will be asking a simple question using if function if, if the resulting value is less than zero we need to return the blank result else we need the, the difference of that as a high similarly we will be adding one measure for low bar this is again going to be the similar condition uh, but with a little bit of tweak to it like this one and the similar question we are again going to ask is this less than zero then we need a black else we need a result done so at this moment we have created a low and a high measure that is simply going to add the condition that we wanted means uh, the high is going to be here like because at this point we can see our sales figures is more than the target figure directly adding these to here over here is not going to give us a result so what we need is a supporting bars that is going to be the difference of the actual sales minus high simple again we are going to add another measure this is going to be a support uh, support measure for the high uh, measure value so we call it high support and then with a very simple uh, we again need to use a function over here if is blank i mean uh, if my high returns a blank value in that case we again need a blank result will not be any chance of any uh, incorrect bar that we do not want it and the rest is simple sum of sales minus i this is going to be a support so let's uh, add over here in the column shell and as you can see it has added to, uh, to only for those intersections where our sales figures is more than the target like in this case as you can see here the sales figures are low so we do not need a bar this is getting uh, ignored by the blank uh, function that we have added in our measure now our high value we will add at the bottom see this is going to be the the up bar for us so let's uh, change the color so that we will get what we need over here so first for the high support we will take a white color so that it, it, it completely go away and for the high portion we are going to add a color like the green one so that I we can easily gauge whether it's 
it's going up visually we need a so this is going to help us to easily help to understand that this color is indicating a upward uh, movement of sales now similarly we are uh, again going to add another support for the low value so here in this case it is going to be a bit different so we call we will be calling it low support again if condition will be uh, uh, we have to use over here again simple is blank function then in this case low then we need a blank if the if low returns a blank else here we will not be uh, subtracting any value from sales so we simply need a sales sum of sales over here and again we will be adding it like as we have added like high support and similar formatting uh, way we will be using over here as well now see we have the this portion that we have is showing the low bars so now first we will be changing the color so that what we need we should have that and now for the low portion we need a color like this one yeah so uh, as as you can see we have up bars we have high and so now we have high and low bars but the the width of the bars is the width is quite small so we need to decrease the width of these bars x axis so similar we need to just increase the inner padding this is going to show the the error the high and low bar that we need okay a little touch to uh, the lines so that uh, we can easily distinguish between what is my target and what is my actual sales lines we'll be going to shapes and then we will first enable the show marker and then in the customize we will select first the target and then in the line style we add the dotted lines this gives me the idea that this is my target line and and for the actual actual sales figure we will be adding a blue line so this is the uh, this is the simple high and low bars in your line chart so now there is still a problem with the legend part so the workaround for this is to rename this field and enter a dot over here and do not change the position of these fields else it is going to uh, give you a incorrect visual that you do not need at all so this is what we need and this is what we wanted to achieve as a result thank you for uh, stopping by have a nice day ahead